To clean a flooded battery compartment on a communication unit, the easiest way to start is going to be remove the communication unit from the mask. This way you have less equipment to work with. Remove the next piece. Now you have the communication unit all by itself. And the next can also be removed to make this more easy. With a flooded communication unit, uh, you're going to start with the small screwdriver that's provided with each communication unit to remove the screws at the top of the battery compartment. Once the cover is removed, use a fingernail or a small screwdriver to remove the battery plug. With the battery in here and water, it's best to remove both units. From the battery compartment, the battery is trash. With the battery compartment still damp on the inside, it's best to use a towel to remove the major bits of water that are inside of the battery compartment. And then also an air gun if it's available. Once you've removed most of the water in here, it's best to leave the unit out, out of direct sunlight and allow it to dry. Once it's completely dry, you're ready to begin the next phase of replacing the battery or seeing what damage might have been caused by the flooding of the battery compartment. Now that the unit is dry on the inside, you may now begin to replace the battery with a new battery according to the polarity chart inside of the unit. Drop the battery in. Now's a good time also to use a small amount of silicon grease on the battery plug o-ring. Just a small amount to coat the entire o-ring and then replace. With the flat side of the battery plug facing the back of the unit, insert the plug and then the cover. Using the screwdriver that's provided with the communication unit, snug the screws up. Do not over tighten. Once this is complete, now is a good time to test the unit to make sure everything is functioning properly. Lick two fingers. This lets you know that the unit is now working properly again. Now you can install it back onto your mask. Make sure that the washer is on the inside of the communication port. With the white side of the microphone facing away from the diver's face, install by simply screwing down the bezel. Nice and secure, not over tightened either. Now you can put the communication unit back onto the NAC support system and use the o-ring to make sure that it doesn't slide off the back. Behind the buckle here. And snap down on the buckles on the clamping band of the mask. Now that the unit is dry on the inside, you may now begin to replace the battery with a new battery according to the polarity chart inside of the unit. Drop the battery in. Now's a good time also to use a small amount of silicon grease on the battery plug o-ring. Just a small amount to coat the entire o-ring. 
and then replace. With the flat side of the battery plug facing the back of the unit, insert the plug and then the cover. Using the screwdriver that's provided with the communication unit, snug the screws up. Do not over tighten. Once this is complete, now is a good time to test the unit to make sure everything is functioning properly. Lick two fingers. This lets you know that the unit is now working properly again. Now you can install it back onto your mask. Make sure that the washer is on the inside of the communication port. With the white side of the microphone facing away from the diver's face, install by simply screwing down the bezel. Nice and secure, not over tightened either. Now you can put the communication unit back onto the NAC support system and use the o-ring to make sure that it doesn't slide off the back. Behind the buckle here. And snap down on the buckles on the clamping band of the mask. Now you are complete.